So the Nintendo Switch is reaching its end, and looking back at things, I'd say overall, it was a pretty good console. I mean, you may want to skip out on the Mario Sports titles this time around. And not gonna lie, the Switch has some pretty half-baked titles overall. But the titles that aren't half-baked are some of Nintendo's best. Mario Odyssey, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Splatoon 2 and 3, Luigi's Mansion Free, Mario Party Superstars, Metroid Dread, and Mario Wonder are all amazing titles. And obviously, there is a lot more that could be named, even excluding the fact that most of the best Switch titles are just remakes and remasters. But anyway, the Nintendo Direct is coming up. Unsure if it's the last one to only focus on the Switch, but I think it is. Typically, Nintendo's consoles slowly die with random Mario remakes coming out at the end of the console's life cycle. And that has already been happening with the Switch. So I believe this Direct will for sure be the last one that focuses on major titles. So, here's my prediction. I'm going to start off with what I think is most likely to release on the Switch, but the longer the video goes, the less these are more predictions and more so wants. So of recent years, Mario Party games typically release every three years or so. Not only that, but a Mario Party title is typically one of the last Mario games released on a Nintendo console. I'd be pretty surprised if a new title isn't released, or at least some DLC for Superstars, because I know a lot of people seem to want that. Personally, I'd like to either see GameCube board DLC for Superstars, or maybe a new Mario Party game that's very close to Superstars, but with some minor rebalancing. So do you guys remember Metroid Prime 4? Because whenever I think about it, I just think of Nintendo's apology video basically saying the game has been restarted from the ground up. While maybe there has been no release date and pretty much no information about the game in forever, I still think it's going to release on the Switch. And honestly, it's probably going to be like a Breath of the Wild situation, where this game is released both on the Switch and the new Switch 2 Attached Deluxe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the console name. Alright, so we have the whole Pikmin series on Switch, which is really nice for those who've never had the chance to play them. But, uh, I find it kind of odd that Luigi's Mansion 3 and soon Luigi's Mansion 2 are on the console, but not the first game. Like, I get the 3DS did have a Luigi's Mansion 1 remake remaster thing, but I don't think many people played that version of the game, or even had fun with that version of the game. So I feel like another remake is needed. Also, again, it would just look weird if 2 and 3 was on Switch, but the first game wasn't. Alright, don't flame me for these next two brief mentions, but I'm very, very mixed on these two series as a whole. So I don't really have much to say about these ones. But I'm thinking something Fire Emblem or Pokemon, or maybe even both, is going to happen. When it comes to Fire Emblem, if anything, I'd prefer a remake title, and honestly, I might pick that up. But when it comes to Pokemon, yeah, I don't think there's been a good Pokemon game in a long time. So I'm going to skip on that one. But again, I'm sure one or maybe both of these things will be shown off. Now for something I actually care about, that being The Legend of Zelda. I believe that Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD will come to the console. Zelda fans have cried and whined about it since the Switch has launched, and it would be pretty odd if Nintendo just didn't port them. For something that's way more unlikely, but I'm going to mention it here anyway because Zelda, I'd actually prefer if the Oracle games got a remaster, kind of like a Link's Awakening. Out of every Zelda game, these two deserve a remaster, and another top-down Zelda game in general will definitely be appreciated. Another brief mention would be Xenoblade X. I mean, the rest of the games are on Switch, so just like Luigi's Mansion, it would be odd just to leave one of these out. But I've heard some stuff related to censorship that could lead to some issues, but I've never played Xenoblade X, so I'm not really sure. I swear, since Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze has got ported to the Switch, every quote-unquote Direct League claims a new Donkey Kong title is coming. I feel like now would be the time to do one, considering it's something the fans actually want. But I don't know, I think it's a 50-50 chance of happening, or not. Another 50-50 chance for me is a Mario sports game, probably a baseball title if anything. Also maybe another Kirby title? I don't know, I just kind of thought about that now without writing any of that down in my notes. Oops. And yet another 50-50 for me would be Metroid Prime 2 Remaster, or maybe even 3 Remaster. The first one did really well, so I don't see them not doing the second or third game, especially if the fourth game is releasing on Switch. And for my final prediction, that probably won't happen. I speak for a lot of 3DS fans when I say this. Tomodachi Life 2, well, I guess it would actually be the third game in the series, so I'm just going to call it Tomodachi Life Switch. This game has been requested by so many people. And Miitopia did get a Switch remaster, so it is possible, but at the same time, it would have to be a massive game to actually be worth the $80 price tag. As charming as the 3DS title was, it did get boring after you've seen everything it has to offer. 
so a new mode or something big would have to be in Tomodachi Life 2 for it to be worth your time. Now that's it for the main Switch titles, but before I end this, let's talk about some possible games that could come to the online service. My list will definitely be a little unrealistic considering the type of shit Nintendo adds to their online service, but hey, this could be the last Nintendo Switch Direct, so why not end things off with a bang? Now I'm unsure if the NES will get any more titles, because games like the Team in Team Manhattan Project and the Mega Man games are already a part of their own collection, so I doubt they'll come to Switch through the online service. Pretty much the same applies to the Super Nintendo and Game Boy, so I'm just going to cover the N64, Genesis, and the GBA. So for N64, I'm hoping to see Banjo-Tooie, Donkey Kong 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Mischief Makers, Super Smash Bros. 64, and Cruisin' World. For Sega Genesis, I'd want Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 3, and Knuckles. And of course, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Obviously, you can't have a complete Sega collection without that masterpiece. And lastly, we have the Game Boy Advance, which currently only has 15 games, so I have quite the list here. All of the Sonic Advance games, Drill Dozer, Metroid Zero Mission, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland, Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones, Wario Land 4, and TMNT for the GBA. Yeah, if anything in this list is an ass pull, it's definitely that one. But because I don't really know how to end this video, enjoy a little bit of that underrated game. Oh yeah, I may also do a reaction to the Direct itself, so join me for that so you can see how wrong I truly was.